Welcome to Gen Y Footy, back to back, two in a row. Gen Y Footy is back, mate. I didn't think it would happen, yep. but it is. And a massive show today. Welcome to you. Thanks very much for having me. And it's two weeks in a row. That's what I just said. That's right. Well done. Just Welcome to really the star of the show, Nick Del Sano. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me back again, guys. Um, it was a good first up episode, but I think we can do better. So really looking forward to getting into it. And don't forget Jake Carlo later in the show. He'll join us right here in the studio. That's going to be huge. He's huge. He may not fit into the studio, actually. He may not. Let's get stuck into the footy. On the weekend, Hawks were the standout for mine. Cyril and Buddy, is there a better duo in the industry at the moment? Uh, on the field, no better duo than Buddy and Cyril. Their yep. performance on the weekend was just amazing. I mean, yep. their ability to create goals out of nothing is uh, is exceptional. Were they the standout for you as well? Or? Yeah, they were. Yeah, yep. they. Uh, I think they were fantastic. Can't go past them. Couple of disappointing starts, of course. Uh, Nick, your mob weren't the greatest. Richmond, what's going on there? They're just like the Tigers of old. And of course, Melbourne, that was very disappointing to see them play poorly after the week they've had in the Cats. Well, that was a surprise too. Yeah, it was. It was uh, it's only round one. That's how we're going to look at it. We've got a lot of work to do, no doubt about that. But yep. uh, looking forward to it. We've got another big game. Frankie just mentioned the Cats. They played Frio, which is Ross Lyons, their coach. He's yeah. your old coach. Our old coach, correct. Did you manage to catch the game at all? Didn't see any of the game. Okay. Saw a little bit regarding a certain player from Frio, Hayden Ballantyne. He's got a little bit of publicity. Yep. But uh, that's as far as I went, Dino. Why? What how's, are you poking at me for? How, how's Ross going? Is he all right? He looked alright weekend, yeah. he had a win. So Still get on the blower and catch up? Uh, I haven't spoken to him in, in quite a while. Okay. Uh, why are you prodding me? What are you up to? I just want to, get what's the relationship like? Nah, you're, you're not going to get anything from me, mate. Okay, alright. Do you miss I'll his walk? Something. Do you miss the Ross walk, actually? That is one part I do miss, yeah, the swagger. Oh, that's so, good that you miss him, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> alright. No, anyway, mate, enough of that. Now, of course, you guys, you played on the weekend and uh, you played very well. So, we just want to highlight one of the highlights, obviously, that's what you do when it's a highlight. A pivotal moment of the game here, Dale. This is how you go, I'm second in a Brownlow medal, mate. What's going on here? <laughs> Yeah, not a great deal. <laughs> um, actually kicked the ball into somebody's arm, came back, hit me in the face, as you could see. Thought I broke my nose first up. Yep. Had that uh, same sensation yep. of re-breaking my nose, but luckily it uh, just filled up with blood and I was able to play on. So I was happy with that result. 28 right. disposals, two goals, 148 super coach. Uh, I should have had you as my captain in the end, hey? You should have. I think you chose Gary Ablett, yeah. which was a wise decision. No, I did have Gaz, so he did very well. But in all seriousness, actually, you do go into the Falcon Hall of Fame for 2000 as well, so you're the first one in there. But in all seriousness, mate, we do have a, a device that is going to perhaps tell us whether you're going to poll in the Brownlow this year uh, because we, we want go. to keep an eye on it and we want to give the viewers the uh, precise indication throughout the year if that's going to happen. You've got something. I do have. Do you I bring do one of the umpires each week that was at yeah, the game? Well, I can't, you I can't have disclose. Have you the car that they vote on? Or? I can't disclose. All I will say is I have scientific evidence yep. that will tell us whether Nick Del Sano will get Brownlow votes for that particular game. It's now time for a brand new segment. A very nice stinger there, Frankie, that you've created. Was that you? Yep, uh, all with um, a paintbrush and, and some paint. <laughs> Brand spanking new segment, as we just said. This is where the audience get to get involved, Del. So, Paul from Twitter. Do we have an audience? Yeah, we have a massive oh, audience. Yep. My mum, your mum, and I think your parents watch it back yeah, in Yeah, mum and dad, yeah, they're involved. <laughs> yeah, that's good. He said, Nick, why the hell would you join Gen Y Footy? This is going to wreck your career. That's a very valid point, to be honest <laughs> with you two guys. Uh, the, the truth behind it is, I've known you guys for about 10 years. And I uh, remember watching you guys in the shed out at Craigieburn, I think it was. Here we are here, yeah. Yeah, and you've uh, moved all the way to Port Melbourne, so things must be going really well for you too. Still and living in Craigieburn, though. <laughs> yeah, we haven't, yeah, we haven't seen the light that is so bright in here. Yeah. No, we haven't seen it. Yeah, no, I'm, I, uh, I got asked by you two guys, and I was very happy to accept it. Happy to have you on board, mate. Now, while we're on our audience, um, we showed this photo of you last week. Yep. Ripping rig, fantastic. Yep. But the, our audience has alerted us to the fact that it's not the first time you've been caught with your top off, mate. Just have a look at this one. <laughs> there you go there. Yes, yep. And That's... there you go again. Ah, bang, bang, another one. <laughs> that one was actually for charity. I have to defend myself on that one. We were uh, doing it for the sacred mission in St Kilda. And we did a catwalk, so I got the top off for charity, guys. And Comedy 3s, he's the last one. <laughs> <laughs> There you go there, mate. All good. Oh, that's the second week in a row you've done that, Nick. <laughs> was that me? I reckon that was I, you. Apologies, apologies. Yeah, that was me, that one. One all. Fair Happy to give you a right of reply, mate. That's right. I had a feeling you were going to come with something this week. So I've, uh, I've dug into the archives. I don't have Facebook myself, but I have some people that know you via Facebook, okay. Dino. Yep. <laughs> and if we could just throw to this clip. We have you beside uh -huh. the river. Oh, Dino. Oh, beside the river. Yeah, in summer. So my question to you oh. is, you know that summer's coming up. The top's yeah. going to have to eventually come off. Yeah. Why are you posing like that? I had osteitis pubis and couldn't do my pre-season <laughs> training. That is an absolute disgrace. And mate, uh, Frankie, I've lost five kilos. Since I know, Dean, and I'm not getting involved in all that sort of thing because <laughs> it's, a it's, a it's a sensitive issue, Nick. And yeah. obesity is a major thing in Australia, and if not, and the world. I so spent 14 years The fact years that you're obese. making light of it is not good enough. <laughs> 
I'm not Warning gonna, number one. I'm not going to apologise because I've been poked <laughs> yeah, in two weeks. So no. uh, it'll be coming back. Don't know if you continue. <laughs> Clean slate. We're moving on. Okay? okay. So I'm not getting involved in any of that. But what I will get involved in, Nick, what I said before, as I alluded to it earlier, that we have a scientific device that will determine as to whether you're going to get votes or not in each game. So, so which umpire are you bringing in? Jordan Bannister, the newie, or what are you going to No, but Jordan might be coming in in a few weeks' Loves time. Props, doesn't, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Actually, props me. <laughs> so we Hurry have. Up, speed it up. You're so slow. Drum roll. Getting... Drum roll. I'm tangled in me wires here. This is our Brownlow metal oh, detector. Oh, that's a shock. And you can hear it working now. <laughs> just got to test some real metal. Yep, see, it's working. So if I can just get across over here, I'm tangled. Dan, can you help me? So 28 disposals, two goals, 148 super so, coach points on the weekend. You're a right footer, aren't you? Left. Left, OK. Left. That's how much I know. So let's just check the left foot. Yeah, there's a bit of, uh, a bit of movement going on there. What are you sensing? Uh, what sort of I'm just sensing. I'm sensing some votes. Shouldn't it be buzzing or it's, something? No, it is buzzing. It is buzzing. Let's just check. Yes, now there's a bit going on here, Del. I might just yeah. move on, I think. It's a nice yeah. watch. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm getting some good. Yeah, That's getting some good hollow. vibes from up That'd here. That'd be hollow. Fantastic. So based on this <laughs> amazing... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is going with. really well. Um, I'm Next. suggesting maybe one Brownlow vote. So one vote on the board for Dale, round one. Yep. Great yep. start, Generous. Mate. Why oh, is I this going it. off really well up here? Oh, that's why. There we go. <laughs> there it is again. That's that lovely bit of vision we ran. Fantastic. Well, Nick. that segment might be back. Or that it was might good. Not. That, it went, went all right. So, you, what are you now paying for the brown line? I'd get on him with one vote in round one. It's good start. <laughs> Plenty more Gem Y footy to come. Jake Carlisle will join us next. Tasmania. It's home to some of the toughest, harshest environments in the world. The weather can change in an instant. And yet Blunston has survived here for over 140 years. You don't survive that long without making a boot that's tough on the outside, but soft on the inside. Blunston, tough by nature. Welcome back to Gen Y Footy. Well, the biggest man in the world is here, Frankie. Jake Carlisle, thank you very much for joining us, mate. Thanks, boys. Thanks for having me. Now, VFL in the weekend, what is going on there? You, I thought you were a certainty. They're comparing you to Dermot Burrett in the AFL at the moment, and then you're playing twos footy. No, oh, no, a big call, mate. I don't think so. Um, <laughs> you haven't I'm heard not, that one? No, i never heard of it before. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, I was obviously emergency on the weekend. Um, didn't get me opportunity, so I played in the, in, um, the VFL in the, in the twos, so... Don't be so modest, mate. We know you had the flu all week. That's why you didn't train, and that's why you lined up in the twos. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, it is true. Very I was good. Uh, in, in bed sick all week, but yeah, <laughs> I won't say that. Yeah, mate. Apart from playing, playing great footy, uh, Jake, you a Craigie Burn boy like us, and uh, you did put Craigie Burn on the mat last year because you were the man underneath one of the greatest marks you've ever seen, Andrew Walker. It was a mark of the year though, and it should have <laughs> been, and you should have been part of it. And uh, just run us through this, mate. What uh, what an experience to be a part of something like that. Oh mate, it's it's uh, I don't know what to say. It's it's probably the best mark I've ever seen. Um, you didn't yeah, see it at the time, did you? No, I didn't. No, I just saw it on yeah. the replay on the big screens. But um, no, it was a good mark. Yeah, I couldn't do much, too, you know, too much about it. Um, obviously tried to go back uh, with the flight and then take the mark myself. But um, yeah, next thing I know, you sit on my head. Yep. And people who know you would know that that's your position when uh, you're ready to take a mark. But walks, of course, just over the top, mate. But we've got something here just to sort of make you feel a bit more at home because yeah. it just feels like something's missing. <laughs> and um, let me just sit this behind you, mate. Just lean forward for me. Hopefully I've uh, measured this correctly. And uh, you just lean back and get comfy, mate. And there, you there we go. You feel comfortable now? Is that... That's perfect. Uh, that's, that's spot on, I reckon, yeah. <laughs> so you're going to play the ones this week? Um, I'm not sure yet. Yep. Not, uh, we'll find out probably tomorrow or the day after, but yep. um, I hope so. And uh, we'll see how we go. And Dino, speaking of a game, a guy that's played a lot of football, yep. Dustin Fletcher. Been a lot of talk about him this week. Heard he's even come in and said as long as he wants to play football, there'll be a spot for him at this footy club. My question is, how does he go around the club? He's obviously 20 years, 22 years older than a lot of the guys at the club. How does he go socialising with them? Does he miss out on a lot of the conversations? Does he know what Twitter is, Facebook? What's, the, uh, what's his relationship <laughs> with the younger boys? Um, yeah, he knows all, all that sort of stuff. He's um, pretty kept up to date. Um, do you guys help him? Uh, we do a little, yeah, he yeah. struggles a bit. But yeah. um, nah, um, he's, yeah, he's probably one of the best blokes at the club. I look up to him pretty highly. Um, you don't yeah. look up to many people being your height, so <laughs> there's one bloke. No, I do, but um, yeah, we've obviously got a young list. Um, he obviously, you know, throws us forward and, and all that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, as I said, he's, he's probably one of the best folks I've met. And I'd expect him to play a couple more years, the way that he played on the oh, weekend. Amazing. Heard he said he could, heard he could say, said he could go whenever he want. Now, we don't want to stitch you up too much, but you are a good Craigman boy, so we know your family. Yeah. Your sisters, now, they've, they've given us this photo of you right here. They've dressed you up as a clown. What was going on here, mate? You just... <laughs> oh, <far out> <laughs> was that grade two? I think it was. Um, yeah. And apparently, you went to about 
15 gym, gymnastics grand finals in a row or something, your sisters were telling me, they used to drag you along to them. Oh uh, yeah, I did actually, I used to play my game ball and oh, I was that bored. Um, yeah, no, you know, it wasn't much fun at all, so. <laughs> now you're all, you were a cricketer growing up and you didn't take footy seriously until you were 17 years of age and you grew about 30 centimetres over the summer and then you thought, I'm gonna have a crack at footy. Is that how it worked out? Yeah, it did, it did. Um, obviously didn't play my top age 16s, I wanted to play cricket. Um, obviously grew, yeah, about 22 centimetres or something in about a year and a bit. Yep. Um, you know, come back to footy, um, obviously done pretty good. Yep. Um, and then from then I got picked up and then obviously took it serious from then on. So. Now you're looking out the corner of your eye here because prop man, he's got something up. What are <laughs> you doing? doing? Props these ones, these are real. Um, you got cats, Jake. <laughs> I yeah, brought them in. A couple, yeah. Are these your, what are their names? Are these his actual cats, Alex? <laughs> well, if they ever come out, hello. <laughs> Can we get a camera in there? Let's just have a look. There we go. Are they your cameras cats? too? Yeah, they are, yeah. <laughs> they don't respond to... What's the story behind this one, Frankie? Jake, well, uh, just run us through. Well, why? Because you go home twice a week, apparently, to have dinner with the family, but the real reason, I'm told, is that you go home to see your cats, and so we've made it uh, easier for you not to have to go home tonight, but why aren't they listening to me? I think they're a bit tired, or what? No, I don't know. <laughs> Probably scared. No, they should be coming out. Oi. Am I a chance to get bitten here, or...? No, they don't bite, mate. They're harmless. No. You got anything else, prop man? No, I just want, we want to see them. <laughs> You never seen a cat before? They're not, Jake, your cats need training, mate. <laughs> you got any, anything else down to add to that? No, I'm not a cat man. <laughs> I'm not a I'm cat. happy for them to stay in there. Is this yours, Jake? Um, Here's yeah. your old bulldog jumper, mate. Where what are you, we? What there have you go. been doing? No, put your hand up to that. Because you used to wear that once, but now your hand doesn't even fit in it. There you go. No, just a trip down the memory lane, guys. How old were you there when you were in that one? Just born, basically. Uh, yeah, I think I was one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was obviously a cat supporter, though, when I was pretty young. Someone told us also that you still had your Footscray stuff up, put some Bulldog stuff up in your room when you got drafted. Oh uh, yeah, I never took that down, but... Um, <laughs> is it still there now? Uh, I think it is, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Well, we'll, know. well, mate, you don't come into here. Frankie's the sponsor, man. He knows what's going on here. Yes, he of get? course. Let's take a look at our lovely friends at Blundstone offering uh, their new lifestyle range, Jake. And I don't know if they actually make them in your size, so we might have to get some custom-made ones. But if they do, you can take a pair of them home. And, of course, the Vital Strength Supplements. Not that you need it, mate. You stand at about four metres tall, so you can take them as well and give them to someone else. Thanks, boys. Thanks for coming in, mate. Hopefully you get selected yeah. this week. No worries. Thank you. Plenty more still to come on Gen Y Footy. Don't go anywhere. Hey guys, so you're going to have protein after your workout, right? But hang on, you need the right protein to get the right results. Vital Strength Pro Muscle. It builds serious muscle, not just bulk. Vital Strength Hydroxy Ripped. Getting you lean and ripped faster. Vital Strength Launch. The great tasting low carb whey protein. Are you getting the right results from your protein? Complete nutrition is vital. Always insist on vital strength. Welcome back to Gen Y Footy. A big thank you to Jake Carl from the Essendon Football Club for joining us. It's now over to the most important segment of the show. <laughs> Dell's inbox. Ready to go again. Really excited. I've had some really good feedback and some great ideas this week in regards to what we're going to do in Dell's inbox. The biggest question and the most feedback we've had is regards to our two and a half minute in intro. I loved it. Oh, I know you guys good. loved it. Yeah. People don't believe out there that we actually were singing. Of course we were. Well, I know we were. All we three of us are professional the singers. Three tenors. Very good. Let's have a look at the footage. Clearly by the footage, you can see that, that it was us three singing. That's yep. No doubt about it. All in rhythm. Oh, all in probably tune. Outstanding. In yeah, tune. tune. All yeah. in tune. Rhythm and, and whatever you Melody. Say. Rhythm and melody. <laughs> they were great harmonies. That's what you're Yeah, that's for the word in, I needed. three tenors. Yeah. No, it was very good, Nick. But I think you might be lying to your friend there who's tweeted. What are you talking about? Well, let's be honest with the, with the fans, if that's what they are, or the viewers. Um, well, not everybody was singing. Okay. And um, when we take away the music and the raw voice, let's just have a listen to how bad Dale actually was. Well, I admit that was terrible. <laughs> that was actually my real voice. I'm going to skip that straight to item two. It sounded like a, a puppy. Yeah, I sound a bit like a baby <laughs> dog, do I? <laughs> Frankie, did, Frankie did all three voices. Credit yeah. team, well done, Frankie. It's the last one no, you've on the back. Yeah, right no, I thought it'd go to the Arias now for that. <laughs> nah, just came up very well. Somewhere. Boys, boys, item two. Let's uh, yep. let's get past that. 
I've got a lookalike sent in via Twitter from Cade Birchall. I think this is pretty good. Here's yep. Joe Watson. Ah, very good. Yeah, yep, not show. bad. Good looking fella <laughs> compared to Bear Grylls. Look at this for a lookalike. Yeah, I love Bear not Grylls. bad. 1970s Bear Grylls, though. Yeah, how can people get in contact with you? You can go straight to Dale's inbox at deanandfrankie.com. Beautiful. Or they can tweet you at Nick Del Santa. Or tweet me. I love tweeting or as well. Or tweet at Dylan Frank. Give us some love. We Nobody, haven't got many followers, have nah, we? No, they don't. No one cares. Right? Now, yeah. Put your house on it. One of my favourite segments because I survived. Adelaide beat the Hit. Gold Coast at Metricon yeah. Stadium. Mm, that would have been hard to get right, that one. I well, I got it right. And now the That's pressure's on you. It would have been hard to get it wrong. If you don't, Dale, you've got to... Ready to go, Frankie? The, well, uh, the pressure's on, mate. Just brewing up something over here on my he's side got his of the desk. little deer sitting inside yeah, there. Well, I'm going to put my Nick Del Sanos on the line here, and I'm going to say that Carlton... Are they going to be there putting your house on it, certainty, to beat the Brisbane Lions up at the Gabba? They've come off a win, so there I am shredding a very fine line. Are dicing with death, because we want to get, see what's in that mug So you want to swim with sharks, do you, if that's his if first that's one? that's what's up. in there, that, that won't be happening. They lost by 10 goals the last time they played in Carlton. Brisbane could beat him up there, Yeah, Dale. you've backed in Carlton. I know you're a Carlton supporter, yeah. but it's a heavy reliance well, on I could have gone against. Well, I could have gone for Adelaide against the Gold Coast like he did. Yeah, he's or I can there. go for Carlton against the Brisbane Lions up at the Gabba. Mate, I think you'll, it interesting. you'll be swimming yeah. with sharks next week. Let's That's hope so. Let's now, hope Nick, so. before we go, have you got a uh, quick pick for us, the super coach? I do. I played against a young kid called Chad Wingard on the weekend. I think they call him the road runner. Played very well. I saw him bouncing, balking, goal kicking, whatever he was Cheap doing up too. there. Yes. 171,000. I think that's very yeah. good value. They rate him very highly there, and I think he'll have a good season. Who yeah. are you I, I do. No, what did you score on the weekend? Uh, 2009. Did you really? Yeah, so I did okay. 1,800. So, should I put you captain this week or stick with no, Gaz? No, stick with Gaz. Okay. Stick with Gaz. I've got a quick one just before we go, Dale. Um, did you go to the Comedy Festival last year? I did go to the Stephen Comedy K. Festival. Stephen K. Amos' show? Yeah, I did go And did you get called out um, to be part of the show as a member of the audience, and Stephen didn't recognise who you were? That's correct. I was told to stand up where I was. I was about and three rows happened? from the front. Run us through it. And he made me turn around to the crowd, and he was saying that I was wearing a well-fitted T-shirt, which I wasn't. It was yeah. a bit of a droopier top. And he basically made fun of me. And uh, did, you what did lift, he do? Did you lift your top up? No, did you I didn't. No, I didn't. And full. No, I didn't. <laughs> and you said you were what? A, a you, what? You got, a university student? You got plucked out because of your physique, which yeah. we've seen, obviously. <laughs> and then your reply to Stephen K. Amos was, "What do you do for a living?" You said, "I'm a university student." Well, I did go to uni, and I've deferred, so <laughs> it wasn't completely untrue. But I was a little bit embarrassed. I didn't want to stand up in front of a lot of people, and. It actually came public and Stephen K. Amos was on the radio and he called me and uh, confronted me about it. Yeah. So, uh, you love getting your regrets, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I you honestly do. don't. It just seems to happen a lot. Hopefully you come back next week, mate. Thank you to Blundstone. Thank you to... Vital Strength. Vital Strength. I always forget those ones. We'll see you well, next maybe week. maybe you shouldn't. I shouldn't, you're right. Maybe no. you should help me out once again. See you next week on Gen Y Footy.